Gavin here. Um, this is a message out to Parky. Parky, if you think I'm a jacker and I'm uh, afraid of you and shit like that, Parky, I asked you just a little fight. To put the fight closer, you refused it. I asked it a while ago again to put the fight closer, you refused it. I'm asking you again, Parky. Can you get your arse out tomorrow, Parky, so I can give you brain damage? You think, Parky, that you want to beat me? No chance. Every fight that you... I've seen all your fights, Parky. You a handshaker. That's exactly what you are. Come out to me tomorrow and you'll see if I shake your hand. Oh, oh probably we shake your hand when, when you look off the ground and knock you out. Because that's the beat I'm going to give you, right? And it's like this, Parky, right? I don't need eight weeks. I'm super fit as it is. I'm in good old shape and I'm fit. I'm a big, big threat to you, Parky, when you refuse twice. You're up on the oak there. Everyone get up behind the camera and act like a big man and this, that, the other, and all this kind. You, if you talk the talk, Parky, sit and you walk the walk and get your arse out and fight. I'm not asking you, Parky, that I am begging of you to get your arse out tomorrow so I can knock you out. I'm not going to knock you out tomorrow, the same way I'll knock you out in eight weeks, it doesn't make a difference to me. You're still getting bent, tomorrow or eight weeks. But if you're plucky enough, if you have a set of balls, get your arse out tomorrow and we separate the boys from the men. Because I'm putting you asleep.